All right, welcome guys. I have a bar class for us today. It is all over body though, okay? There's no extra props, but you may wanna grab something for balance. So if you have a chair, or even if you have like a countertop or something else that's stable um, to assist you with your balance, that'd be great. Um, and that being said, if you don't have anything, it's not the end of the world. Don't leave, we still gotta try. Okay, so let's start to warm up. We can start to roll out our shoulders. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. The other thing about this workout is it is a standing workout, the whole workout. Good. Okay, guys, we're gonna bring our shoulders back down. Let's relax and just a few head rolls from side to side. Come on back up. Let's step out wide. We're going to sit down into a squat. Bring your hands forward as you do. Stand back up. Good job, guys. A couple more. Awesome. Now stay down. Bring your hands out to the sides and we're going to just make some small circles with our hands, warming up our shoulders and our leggy legs. Like I said, it's like all lower body today. So not, I mean, definitely some traditional bar sequences, but um, we're just gonna do lower body and make the most of this 30 minutes. Good guys, let's stand back up. Big inhale, hands come up overhead. One hand can come down, we're gonna reach up and over, nice big stretch. Good, come on up, we're gonna switch sides. Come on back up. You can kind of heel toe those feet back into one another. We're gonna do a few calf raises next and we can do our wrist rolls with our calf raise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Try to make sure you're not rolling out to the pinky toe edge of your feet. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this. <laughs> like, I, it's just like one of those things I like, created, I'm like, oh yeah, it's gonna be so good. Like, it be so hard, and then now that I have to do it, I'm like, oh god, why did I do this to myself? Oh, we're gonna love it though, truly. You know, after each workout, I'm always like floored. Okay, good stuff. Do hip circles next, so don't worry about the clicking too much in your hips, guys, unless it's painful. Pretty normal to have a little bit of clicking there, and as long as it's not painful, um, it's not really anything you need to worry about. You can adjust your circle maybe so it's not as big if it's bugging you a little bit, but don't worry, I guess is what I'm saying. <clears throat> okay, good guys, feet down to the ground. Bring those elbows up high and on your exhale, twist. A little bend of the knees through center. Keep that core engaged. <sighs> good job. Guys, I have like so many stories to tell you, but I think I'm gonna have to save them for on back to center. We're just gonna do a few squats uh, with your chosen foot position next. Um, but yeah, there's just so much talking in a bar class with the count. We're for the most part doing eight reps and 16 pulses of anything that has either. Um, there's a lot of counting. I, I can't talk and count, we know it. So I might have to save all my stories for the next vlog, which I think is just as well. <laughs> okay, a couple more. All right, come on back up to stand. Nice. Okay, you can kind of shake out your legs, guys. I'm just gonna take a quick sip of water, and then we're gonna get started with the actual workout. So we can think of it as a bar fitness class. For the most part, this class is a follow the leader type class, guys. So let's just do just that. Do your best, and if you need a break or need to modify it in time, um, that's fine, okay? Uh, so we're starting with a squat series. You can face the camera sometimes. It's up to you. I wanna face the camera because I want to talk to you. I want you to see me. But I need sometimes for you to see me on both angles. Um, but really, in the end, guys, it works for you, okay? It's here for balance if you need it. So actually, we're gonna bring our feet a little bit more narrow. So probably just under our hips are a little bit wider. Toes may turn out just a little, okay? We're sitting down in squats. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
too far forward, right? So you should be able to see your toes. Like so you can get a circle. One, two, three, and all the eight. Five, six, seven. Good. We're switching sides. I am going to move my bar to the other side. So I can continue to face the side. Okay. Alright. So of course we have to do the same thing on the other side. So we stand here, we're gonna bring that knee to 90 degrees. Bending, or sorry, leg comes out, that's one, two, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Guess what? One, two, three, four. Mm 
11, 12, 15, 16. So now we're coming down and then we straighten that leg. One, two, three, six, seven, and eight, and one. So it's totally again up to you. The only reason being is that we will be in our toes in a kind of second position or sumo position. And uh, if I'm going to feet slide in my shoes and I want to be able to control where the weight is in my feet. So we're going to do this. <laughs> and I was worried about this, but it's very refreshing because I'm very warm right now. Find your second or quote unquote you can call it sumo position. It's just a little bit wider than your hips this time again. To face you, you can face your bar or your support if you wish. <clears throat> okay, eight squats in this position. One. job we're halfway yes I find this difficult too very much so <laughs> good stand up drop your heel down and up eight times Good, let's sit down for our pulses. Good job, eight more. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's stand up, drop your heel. So we're gonna alternate heel side to side, no pulsing. You can use your balance if you need to. Okay, so we're coming down, we have heel up, and then we come down, other side. Two, three, four, five, good job, six. Good, stand up, okay, legs are nice and loose. So bringing our hand up to the bar now, we're doing uh, that first part with our heels lifted. Mm -hmm. 
down we go. So we might start to feel the shakes here. I need to adjust my feet. So I'm turning my feet in a little bit. Feels better for me in this position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come on back down. Let's pulse. One, two, three, four. That's eight halfway. Two, three, four, five. Smile and do the pain. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. It's like that good. I actually love it. Okay, sit down. We're holding it. Okay, one hand. We're not really doing a lot of weight here. It's kind of just for show. Okay, I'm not big and and back to back to center of the legs. Stay back. Top and over. Two. So much stronger than we think we are. Take it a little bit. So we have kind of one more round, um, but it's kind of one side then the other. And we're going through a series of curtsy lunges. So <clears throat> it's like a curtsy with a pulse. A curtsy maybe with an addition and a pulse. Very, very easy to follow along. Have no fear. Okay, we know what a curtsy lunge is. Take your time. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. A or 16 pulses. Use your bum, squeeze your bum, that's the pulse. Three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Stand up. We're gonna do it the other side. But guess what? After that, we're done. Okay, this is a great little class. Goodness, though. Okay, so just a regular curtsy up and down. And then we're gonna pulse. So here we go. One, two. Gently release, make a little shake. Let's do the other side. Great job, guys. It's a good class, right? Like, it takes you right to the edge where you're like, oh, I can't do anymore. And then you just have to do like one or two more and we're done. I love that. Okay, release that foot nice and easy, make a little shake. I think we'll come down to the ground to do the rest of our stretches. Don't skip this part. I know you want to. You're going to regret it. Okay, seriously. Do you want me to tell you a story so you can get through it? Okay. Um, so I'm new to living in the country. And since living here, 
Um, I have seen for the first time in my life actual ducks with my own two peepers. Uh, muskrats. Weasels. Weasel came in the house twice. Uh, bird came in the house the other day. No big deal. Uh, muskrats didn't come in the house. We have multiple. We have a creek next to our house, and I've seen multiple. Let's switch sides, by the way. Um, but it's fun. It's so fun, guys. I love it. We live in a really beautiful old farmhouse, so I'm not like I wasn't even freaked out. I didn't even scream when I saw the little weasel. But like, basically, it's really convenient because it's an old home. It has lots of little rooms and um, a lot of doors to outside. So I just like kind of walked the weasel into the one of the back rooms and oh shut him in and then opened the deck door and out he went and with the bird okay let's just like release that we're gonna do a little butterfly okay feet together knees out we're gonna pull forward um the bird came in i was on the couch and i heard this little like click 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 on the floor and i thought oh god this silly weasel is back i looked up and there's like this tiny little bird like if it was yellow i thought i would have thought it was a canary but Anyways, he's so small and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this like really carefully because it is so small that if it like flies and hits something like it might die. So I just like slowly got up and walked towards it and it just walked itself like hopped into the laundry room and I shut the laundry room door, went outside, opened the door to outside and like five minutes later it flew out. So um, fun times, I have to say, like I love it. Okay, anyways, come on up, stretch those legs out. We have to do forward fold um, and then we'll be done. Okay, so pull those inner thighs away from another, connect to the mat, hands up, <sighs> exhale, fold. But yeah, guys, I love it. Every day is an adventure out here. We have this nice long red dirt road um, that leads down to a beautiful South Shore beach. I will visually take you there sometime. It's really, really nice. All right, I think we're good guys. When I come back up, big inhale. Take your time as you come up to stand so you don't get dizzy. And as you come up, make sure you give yourselves a little round of applause. We did it. It wasn't easy, but we did it. Um, thank you so much for being here with me. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.